Okay, so the other thing which we need to be able to do for the exam is to print out selections of data from our database. So in the exam, you will get a question where you will be asked to make a report of the following information, and then you will get a series of criteria. And those criteria will be um, either filters of the information which you have in your database. It will ask you to sort the information that you have in your database. And it could possibly ask you to format. It will ask you to format the report as well. So make it landscape or which fields to put on the page, etc., etc. Some of these things you are going to do in a query before you start with creating your report. So before we make a report, we first make a query. So I'm going to create my query as always in design view. And I'm going to go and choose the table which I want, which in this case is music students. And then I'm going to maximize that. So we can see it nicely. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to take my first name, my family name, what instrument they're playing, and I'm going to take the uh, lesson week value and the cost week value. And I'm going to put those into my query. So I'm going to run that query, see what's going to happen. So I've got the name of the student, what instrument they're playing, then how many lessons they're having a week and what the cost um, per week is for them. Okay. So now I want to sort this list out so that I've got it in order of instruments. So I'll have the clarinets or the cellos first and then the clarinets and then all the trumpets, then all the whatever. Okay. So I want to sort it into that. So over here, you can see I've got a line that's called sort. I'm going to do the sorting here. It's very important with LibreOffice that you sort in the query and not in the report. There is a choice for you to sort in the report. You don't want to do that because it makes a grouping and it messes things up. So you want to sort in the, in the query and not in the report. So I'm going to sort here. I'm going to run that again. And you will see now I have cello, then I have clarinet, etc., etc., And it's in order of those things. But the violinists here aren't in order of name. So I'd like to make that happen. So I can go and sort this column as well. And look what happens. It now sorts on that column because this column is before this column in our design view. It'll sort that first and then that second. So I'm going to go and put in family again. And I'm going to sort ascending. But I'm going to take that tick off. And that means that this isn't going to show. And then I will not sort that one but I will sort it in this one. So remember, this one isn't going to show. So if I now run my query again, it's now going to have be sorted by instrument and then by family name because I've got that invisible column sitting over here, which will do this sorting first, then that sorting afterwards. Okay. Now I want a column over here that is going to multiply these two columns together. So I want to multiply lesson week by cost week, which probably doesn't make any sense, but I've got two numbers there, so I want to make it happen. Okay, so in this column over here, I'm going to go and write a function, and this is what I'm going to write or the formula. I'm going to put double quotation marks and the name of one of my columns. Okay, and then I'm going to do an asterisk for multiply, another quotation mark and the name of the other column 
and then um, let's let's multiply that by 10 just to show you that we can put numbers in there as well I'm going to give this a well let's multiply it by yeah let's multiply it by let's let's leave it with 10 that's a nice easy number to see if we've made a mistake or not and I'm going to call that total cost okay and I'm going to display that now have a look at this when I run this query I now have a column over here it's done 10 times 1 times 10 is 100. 15 times 2 is 30 times 10 is 300. 9 times 3. So I can easily go and check here, is this correct? And of course it is. Okay. So I have added another column now, which I can now use in my report. Or I could, um, I suppose, put it into a form. And that would be available to me. So I've got everything here sorted. I've got the fields that I want. And I've got a calculation in there that I want as well. 